Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we are going to evaluate this integral. Yes, here we have integral of product of two functions. That means we have to evaluate this integral by using rule of integration by parts. So first we will write down the what is the rule of integration by parts. Yes, here we have write down rule of integration by parts. Yes, when we have two functions of variable x, we have called this is as a first and second function. So what is the rule? This is given by first function into integral of second minus integral of derivative of first function into integral of second, right? So yes, here we have to apply this rule of integration by parts to evaluate this integral. So yes, here we have to arrange these two functions by using this relate rule. So yes, cos bx, this is a first function and this is exponentially second function. So yes, we will write down this given integral i is here cos of bx into e raised to ax, right? So yes, this is our first function and this one is second. So now we will apply this rule of integration by parts to evaluate this integral. So yes, so first function into integral of second, integral is given by this is e raised to ax by a minus integration of derivative of this cos of bx derivatives this is minus sine of bx into b into integration of this one so yes we will write down integration this is e raised to ax by a yes so yes we have write down so yes now we will simplify this yes we will take this b by a this is outside since this is a constant so remaining here we have this is sine bx into e raised to ax yes now again we can check that here we have these two functions we have to find the integral of this is here and this is again rule of integration by parts so yes, we will write down this is again by rule of integration by parts. So again, this is a first function and this one is second. So this is sine bx. Yes, first function into integral of second minus integration of derivative of first function. So sine bx derivative, this is cos of bx into b into integral of second. So this is e raised to ax by a. Yes, we have write down derivative of sine here. This is cos of bx, yes. Now we will simplify this term here. So yes, now, yes, we have done the simplification of this term here. We have taken this b by a inside this bracket. So yes, here we have this one. Now, in next step, we have write down this integral as this is here. Yes, now to evaluate this integral, again, we have to apply integration by parts. Yes, and by applying rule of integration by parts, again, we will get this integral. So yes, that means... This is never ending process. Yes, that means to evaluate this given integral, we can write this is as a given integral i, right? Yes, we can check that this is given integral i. 
So yes, we will write down this is as a I so that we can simplify further. So yes, we will write down. Yes, we have write down this is as a integral I. So we will shift this term to this side so that here we will have this is I plus B square upon A square into I and this term as it is. Yes, this is here we have A square. Now yes, we can simplify this here. So that here we will have this A square plus B square upon A square and here we can check that here we have this e raised to ax common to both terms. So here we have this is cos of bx upon a plus b by a square. This is sine bx as it is. Okay. Now yes, this is i and we can shift this factor to this side. So here we will have this is e raised to ax upon Yes, this is here we have a square upon this is a square plus b square, right? And this next term as it is. Yes, now on simplification, what we have here this is e raised to ax upon a square plus b square in bracket. Yes. On simplification, we get here this is a remaining a here cos of bx plus this is remaining b into sine of bx. Yes, so yes, we have find here value of this integral. Yes, what is this integral here? This is e raised to ax into this cos of bx, right? Yes, and what we got this is here this is e raised to ax upon a square plus b square this a into cos of bx plus b into sine of bx and yes we can write this is integration constant c here so yes in this way we have find the value of this integral where this a and b these are the constants so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching